Welcome to Perusal. In this video, you'll learn how to set up a Perusal course through your learning management system. If you're integrating a Perusal account with your learning management system, please read our documentation on how to set up the integration. You can find more information at support.perusal.com. Once Perusal is installed on your LMS, enter your LMS course and click on the Perusal link. From there, Perusal will open in a new window and you can enter into your course. Please note, if your institution is on LTI 1.3, you can create your courses on Perusal and they will automatically sync to your LMS. If you're looking to create assignment-specific links, you can find more information relating to your specific LMS at support.perusal.com. When you enter your Perusal account, you'll find four options in the top toolbar. You can create a course as an instructor, copy a course from an existing course, enroll in a course that already exists, or create a study group. Click on Create a Course. From there, you'll be given the option to integrate it with your LMS. Or, if you're launching Perusal directly from your LMS, you'll be prompted to set up your course automatically. Fill out the course start and end dates, your preferred analytics, your enrollment estimate, target group size for discussion groups, and your materials. You'll be also given the option to choose your grading analytics. There are four options available to you from automatic grading and engagement analytics to disabling all analytics. You can manually change these settings later as you specify your grading. In the library tab, you can choose from all types of content for your course. A book from the Perusal catalog, where we have over 800,000 titles, a web page, your own documents, which include PDFs, Word documents, PowerPoints, and EPUBs. You can also upload video or podcasts. When uploading material from your device, you also have the option to clear the digital rights from the Copyright Clearance Center. Other library options include materials copied over from another Perusal course, quizzes, iClicker, and a student folder. You can also add folders to organize content in your library. Once you have your materials uploaded, you can create assignments. Click on the Assignment tab and Add Assignment. Click on the material from the library you would like to assign. You can assign the full content or select parts of it. Add your submission deadlines, assignment names, instructions, and other information in the Options tab. You can customize your scoring settings for an individual assignment in the Scoring tab, or keep it the same as your overall settings for the course. If your course is integrated with your LMS, your students will have full access through their LMS course. You can also share your course with other instructors by inviting them to the course. They will have full access to the gradebook and assignment settings. Teacher assistants can be added to the course with their emails. Teacher assistants will not have access to grades or to assignment settings. Grouping is a great way to have insightful discussions in smaller groups. Perusal can automatically assign students to groups or you can specify the groups manually. If your institution has updated to LTI 1.3, your groups will automatically sync over from your LMS to your Perusal course. The Scoring tab offers you various options to specify your grading criteria. You can decide when to release scores to students, what scores students can earn, and customize the weight of your specific grading. We have created a few presets for you to try. Holistic, annotation content only, focus on reading and watching, focus on social engagement, and focus on quizzes. You can change the percentage of each of these seven metrics for yourself and select the options dropdown to customize more. The horizontal line for full credit tells you which metric will give your students full credit. You can see student scores in the gradebook located on the left-hand side of your dashboard. If you click on your student's score within the gradebook, you'll be given a full breakdown of how your student earned that score. You can also provide feedback to your student here. See the course in student view, check your notifications, and here you can see your notes. They are private to the user and cumulative for the entire course. Add any important deadlines to your calendar. Under chats, you can make announcements to the class, have general discussions or one-on-one -on -one chats with specific students. Hashtags are a great way to connect thoughts and ideas, and any student or instructor can create one. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, please email us at support at or check out our other videos online.